Um, so thank you for coming. I uh, wanted to go for a brief background in Suffolk and our opportunities here before I give each of our Suffolk attendees the opportunity to speak a little bit about what they do here. And so we view our opportunities for Career Start and our construction management internship as a national program. We have 2,400 employees nationwide and we are a $4.5 billion privately held company. Our CEO, John Fish, uh, started the company with an $80,000 loan and now has grown it into a $4.5 billion company, which is really exciting. And we have offices, our headquarters are in Boston, um, but in the Northeast, we have Boston and New York. In the Southeast, we have Miami, Tampa, Estero, West Palm Beach. South Central, we have Dallas. In the West region, we have Los Angeles, San Diego, and San Francisco. Um, we've really diversified our portfolio to be in different sectors. So we do a lot of commercial work in the Southeast, but we also do work in healthcare, education, science and technology. Um, you know, we do a lot of government work, aviation and gaming. A lot of you have probably seen the Hollywood Hard Rock, a really you know, big iconic project that we did in the Southeast that we just finished. So we'll have a couple slides on that later. But some examples of what we do. So here are some of our projects. You can see the Boston Children's Hospital, um, the Encore Casino, uh, one Dalton in the uh, Boston area, there's the Hard Rock. Um, so really great projects changing the skyline across the country. Um, and through our career start and internship programs, we're really looking to build the pipeline in order to continue building these really iconic and great projects solve problems quicker, think about efficiencies. You know, we really do view our opportunities here as, an, uh, you know, the building blocks for future talent in the organization. So we'll see if this works. We recently rebranded and our team put this out. Are you able to hear it? We're not. No. It's a problem with it being virtual. So I'll share that link later. Um, it's check out our YouTube channel. We have some really great uh, videos that our team puts out. Um, mm. And they, you know, showcase the way that we can prove impossible wrong, which is our motto here at Suffolk. So we constantly think about ways to improve what we do on a day to day basis ways to take on projects that, you know, other companies may say, you know, that's not possible. You know, we really look for teamwork, individuals with leadership skills to make sure that every day we are proving impossible wrong. Everything cool? Yeah, I'm already Okay. You want Popeyes? Is someone on the phone? Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> um, so one of our examples of our projects that was featured recently was the Hollywood Hard Rock. So the owner is Seminole Gaming Authority. Did anyone on the call work on this project from Suffolk? I don't believe so. No. No. Um, Just from the computer side. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so we really work to reduce impact to the customers and the owners, you know, continue to be open throughout the process. Um, you know, how do we think about creating a guitar shaped hotel? What are the problems that will arise when we, um, uh, put in the LED system? Some of you may have seen the videos of it lighting up at night. Some of you may have seen the, the Super Bowl commercial featuring, um, the guitar shaped hotel. So, you know, it's projects like these that really make a difference in our portfolio. And in the future, we're definitely looking for opportunities to grow as a business and take on um, work that, you know, seemingly seems impossible. Um, an idea of a guitar shaped hotel is definitely not the typical type of building, uh, but something that we can dream up and make happen here at Suffolk. So here is the commercial. Uh, I won't play it because it won't work, but uh, we'll definitely work on using that. Uh, some of you may have seen it if you watched the Super Bowl. It was featured there. Um, so Jennifer Lopez chasing A-Rod throughout the hotel. 
pretty exciting considering the amount of people that worked on it. So I want to introduce Andy, um, an FCU alumni. So he'll speak to his about experience, how he came to Suffolk, and what he does on a day-to-day -day basis. Yeah, thank you. Um, so I'm Andy Kunkel. I uh, graduated from FGCU in 2002, so it's been a little while, um, but uh, still live here, have, have moved down here from Maryland uh, years and years ago and uh, found a place here. So I've jumped around to a couple of businesses, never a, um, so I graduated with a, a business degree with computer information systems. Um, so it's lots of programming, um, that side of the house. So a lot of what I do now is with data and all of the data that we collect when we build these big buildings. Um, we work on this, this graphic kind of shows you what we do. We have Oracle, we use Procore. Procore is a big uh, system. I'm, I'm sure the other, all the operations people are familiar with it, but it's a system that for building, uh, for construction management. So we, we work in, in my department on pulling all of that information out and then assembling it, creating reports, and ultimately trying to learn how do we, how do we build better? How do we build faster? What are preventative you know, things that happen, things that you can prevent, right? If you see something in the data, um, is there something you can do um, to do it? And a lot of other things that we produce are things to help operations um, in the form of dashboards and reports to try to roll up information from different places all into one. Um, I've been at FG or at, uh, at Suffolk for th a little over three years and um, I'm enjoying it a lot. Uh, it's neat the role that I'm in and in that I get to work with a lot of different project teams throughout the country um, and try to help them with with anything that they might you know need help on uh, from a, from an IT perspective. Um, so any questions from anybody here? Anybody? Are you all in the construction management um, classes or are you spread throughout? Well, I'm an engineering major, so. <laughs> Great, yeah. So there's, there's a, an application. I guess one of the benefits of, of Suffolk is that there's room for a lot of different degrees, right? It's not, you know, you don't think, you think of a construction company as just, oh, it's, you know, swinging hammers and, and moving things, but that's actually the last thing that we do. You know, a lot of what we're doing is, is managing the process, right? Managing the construction process, managing the subs, managing, you know, our trade partners, things like that. So, you know, an engineering major, that's great. You know, somebody, uh, Jack, I think is a finance major from getting that right. So, um, you know, you, you can, it's a neat melting pot for a lot of different experiences. And I think Ray is next. So I'll pass it off to her. Hi guys, I'm Ray. Um, everyone, well, my real name is Regine Cooper, but everyone calls me Ray. Um, I'm currently in the Career Start program. Um, my my title is uh, um, a project engineer. Um, so I'm on the project in Gateway High School, which is in Gateway, sorry, off of Daniels, not too far away from you guys, actually. And we're building that high school. And we are have, today, we just got to turn on our air conditioner. So that's pretty exciting news as we begin to start interior finishes, um, as we begin to begin, as we begin to start interior finishes, sorry. Um, some things that I really, uh, that I do on a daily, um, I'm able to process information in regards to the material that needs to be on site. Um, sometimes I work with my senior PM on the financial aspects of the job. And then I'm also able to kind of get out in the field and see all the things, all of the materials and all of the systems that I've helped put together in the background, I get to see them put together in real life. So that's really exciting. Um, um, a couple things that I put on my side, what, my, what makes Suffolk amazing is the ability to compete and present for um, large-scale jobs. So actually, 
um, not even two months for working for Suffolk, I had the opportunity to present for about a $70 million job and we were awarded that job early on. So I was really excited to have that opportunity to present with some of the, the leadership of the Southeast and to be awarded a big job. It um, really gave me an opportunity um, to see something that I'm also interested in and then also see that the leadership believed in me. Another thing is hands-on learning. You get the opportunity to see a lot of the things in the field that you've kind of processed already via submittal, RFI, via VDC, all of the technology that you're using. Um, again, a lot of responsibility early on, conducting meetings, getting information, holding meetings with the architect and the owners, um, sitting, uh, sitting in front of you know million dollar developers is really um, important to me because you kind of want to have ownership of whatever you're doing. So I'm really glad that I have the opportunity to do that here at Suffolk. And then um, the ability to build long lasting relationships. Um, Suffolk used to say, I, I think we might still say it, we build, we build buildings, but people build buildings. So we're, we're in the people building business. <laughs> Sorry, that's, that was a tongue twister, but it's important to build relationships and continue to network and um, most of the time, as a construction manager, you're buying, they're buying the people. They are not, we don't do, we don't provide anything specifically. So um, it just really gives me an opportunity, again, to foster my own relationships and create my own networking pool, especially here locally. That's all I have. Jack, I'm passing it off to you. Thanks, Ray. Hello, everyone. Uh, good evening. Uh, my name is Jack Hernandez. Uh, I grew up in this area. We went to uh, local high school, um, and I ended up graduating from FGCU in 2015 with a degree in accounting. Um, after graduating, I wasn't quite sure what did I what I wanted to do. Um, I took a chance and interviewed with Suffolk, um, and I had never really had a background in construction, um, and Suffolk recommended. I look into the career star program. So I went back, uh, reviewed the program and talked to the director and decided to take the opportunity that Suffolk gave to me. Uh, we'll dig deeper into the career start program later on. However, I'd like to share my experience in the program and what I'm up to nowadays. So I spent my first 16 months down in Naples at an assisted living facility called Moorings Park. Uh, I had a very positive experience there considering I didn't have a lot of knowledge. Uh, my team members were very welcoming and supportive. Uh, right off the bat, Suffolk wants you to be successful and wants you to be an impact on the job. So they always gave you the necessary resources to do so. Uh, moving on after project management in field superintendent, I moved into my last role estimating. Um, I had a great experience there. Uh, it's a quick learning environment. I had great team members and I was responsible for a lot of the coordination of project budgeting, um, including cost comparisons, obtaining subcontractor proposals, as well as offering construction review. Overall, I, I believe the Career Start program was vital to my personal development and personal career. Yeah, it allowed me to discover the right path moving forward. And uh, I enjoyed estimating and felt like my strengths and accounting background aligned with the role. So where am I at now? Uh, for the last two and a half years after graduating from the Career Start program, I've been in estimating. Uh, estimating is unique in the sense of, I see all the new projects coming in. Uh, they're you know, pretty incredible projects like the guitar. Uh, can you go to the next slide, Lindsay? Uh, another notable project that I've worked on recently is the Naples Beach Club and Resort. It's been in pre-construction for about a year and it's slated to start summer of next year. Another notable one is the Summerfield Assisted Living Facility. It's a 300 thousand square foot building um, and this was kind of my first opportunity to lead in pre-construction. Um, off to the left hand side uh, 
are a couple different technologies that I use that are pretty incredible. Uh, On-screen takeoff, we call OST. Uh, we're, late, we're allowed to trace and keep track of our quantities and then further move those onto a, a database called Cost Lab, where we have years of historical costs and we're allowed to put together our templates and spreadsheets based on owner preference. So there's just a couple you know, things in estimating that I, that I enjoy using and I'm pretty happy where I'm in and estimating, so. Thanks, Jack. All right, um, good evening, everybody. My name is Blake Holmes. Um, I think I'm one of the only ones that have not graduated from FGCU. I actually graduated from the Citadel back in 2016. Um, though I do have a lot of friends who have graduated from FGCU. I think very highly of the college. Um, honestly, I, I really do think it's a great school. And I heard that you guys just came, um, you guys just had your uh, construction management course, I believe, um, is now a course and even a, a major that you guys can um, now take, which is pretty exciting. Um, so I guess to start with my upcoming and even being part of the Career Start program, um, I previously didn't even know that I wanted to be in construction. I was looking for another job in real estate. Um, went through a couple job interviews with that company and somebody said something about the career start program said you'd really enjoy it. You should totally check it out. And I've been pursuing this other real estate job for about three months and I didn't know that I truly should even take a look at it considering the fact that I pretty much had a job locked up with another company, but Somebody told me I ought to give it a shot, you know, don't miss out on an opportunity that could be a good one. So I ended up receiving a phone call from the um, corporate office of Suffolk. Had a wonderful conversation. All we did was talk, talked about, you know, what are you into? What do you like? What are your passions? Where do you see your um, future going? Everything else. Everything seemed to align. They said, well, what we want to do is bring you in for an interview. I had my interview. I met with about four or five people during that one interview process. And I mean, I'm talking after I spoke with the first person, I was sold. We talked about the program. We talked about everything that comes along with it. I was sold. I said, sign me up. You know, we're like, how do I get this thing started? So I jumped on board with Suffolk. So needless to say, I'm a business major. I don't know anything about construction. I don't know anything about construction documents, how buildings are built. I just understand that it just seems like a crazy time out on a job site. People are laying bricks, swinging hammers, you know, installing material, but you don't understand or can even grasp the concept of how all that comes together um, until you're actually on the job site. And um, with me being a business major, I knew nothing, just like Jack, you were saying, the team is very welcoming. They understand where you're at. They understand the Career Start program, and they want to see you succeed. Like, this company is very, um, I would almost say family-oriented in the sense of, like, you're, you're now one of us, you're with us, and, like, we want to see you succeed, and they're going to give you every bit of tools to watch you succeed, and it's pretty exciting especially now being a graduate of the Citadel or the, uh, of the career start program. And now I'm watching other career starts come on board and then I get to help them and teach them and mentor them and watch their learning process, which is pretty awesome. Um, but to start with, I was in my superintendent field rotation and I was out in the field with a probably about four supers on a uh, residential building. Um, Morgan's Park is the client, um, very, very high end client that we have down here in Naples and ran with those guys. They taught me a ton of stuff. Um, it was a, it was a blast. It was enjoyable. Had a great team, went into estimating, um, you know, got to learn everything of what Jack's doing right now with doing takeoffs, you know, meeting with owners and architects, the pre-construction phase of things. And then I got into my project management rotation and totally enjoyed that. I've probably been on about four or five projects already by now. One of them 
which I was out individually all by myself on one project. Um, you'll learn a lot quickly. You're thrown into a very responsible role right away. So the responsibility that you'll probably get from this job in comparison to a lot of your friends going to other jobs, you will probably carry a lot more responsibility than probably, I would say probably 95 to 99% of your friends, right? It's a, it's a, it's a job that's going to carry a lot of weight, but it's very fulfilling. You get a lot out of this position. You get a lot out of this job. You get a lot out of this industry. Um, though it can be long and, and tiresome, you're going to get a lot out of it. It's, um, it's, it's, very exciting and it's very interesting to see the way a building is fully constructed, right? It's not just like, um, you guys can see my screen. You can't see my mouse though, can you? Can you? Can, can you see my mouse on the screen? No. Okay, that's okay. But with that being said, right, if you're looking at this picture, right, this is a job that I'm on right now. It's a seven story building first three floors are um, amenity levels with spas, golf simulators, everything else. And then the remaining top four floors are just residential units. Um, but you know, you look at this job and it's for us as a general contractor, um, you know, to coordinate how all this material and all these people are on the job site, how's the trash taken off the job site and everything else. So, I mean, there's a lot of logistic challenges that you'll run into um, and it's for us to be the problem solvers and to um, coordinate that and get that done and you know you'll be surrounded by great people and honestly like whenever you come on board you're gonna have these people who have been in the industry for probably 20 to 30 years they're gonna look at you for answers and I know that sounds crazy but they're gonna be wanting to lean on you because you're new you're young You've learned a lot in school. You've learned stuff that I don't even know about, right? So for you guys to come on board, like you guys are wanted, you guys are needed. And um, it's, it's super exciting to get new talent and like fresh minds onto our project sites, um, into estimating everything else. You get a feel for all of it. You know, I, I've talked to a couple other people who went into the construction industry and they don't get that same experience, right? They, you know, yeah, like I graduated and I'm a project manager. Okay, well, did you go through estimating? Well, did you go through your field rotation? Like, and they honestly, the first thing they say, that that's awesome that your company does that. It's like the first thing they say, it's awesome that your company does that. Um, so Career Start Program is great. And then the company itself, honestly, if I can compare it to anything and the vision of our CEO is I would compare it to the Apple or the Google of the construction industry. I mean, that, that's the direction and the mindset of this company and the employees in it is we're, we're trying to take it to the next level um, and just more state of the art, more technology. Like how can we drive that to build buildings more efficiently, better with a better product for the owner? Um, so, and I'll honestly like, like that's the mindset that we're looking for and the drive and the passion. And, um, you know, it's, it's a lot of fun and it's, it's very, very rewarding. And I, I think you would feel it probably within the first day to the first week of you being out here. But, um, anyhow, I know I kind of dragged that on a little bit, but anyone has any questions? Um, I don't know if we have business cards. I know we can't give them to you, but emails, for people to reach out at any time, um, I'd, I'd love to answer or talk to anybody via phone call, email, or, you know, whatever it is. Yeah, I will provide the emails if anybody has any questions afterwards, but we will leave the time for Q&A at the end. Um, so, uh, Blake just spoke a lot about, you know, how our vision of our CEO, John Fish, is moving us forward. So, we are looking to redefine what is possible in a disruptive environment. And we have three vertical structures to house these capabilities of build, innovate, invest. And so our build platform is Suffolk and Liberty. So Liberty is our Suffolk self core form. So on our innovation pillar, we have our architects and engineers, our supply chain and our facilities management. How do we provide a more end-to-end -end relationship with our client? 
And then our invest side is Suffolk Capital and Suffolk Tech. So we have a tech fund where we actually look at different uh, tech startups um, in the construction industry or the construction adjacent industry. And we have a team who decides uh, where our strategic investments are. And some of these investments are actually used in our collab. So we have a collab in each of our offices, which is a place for our project teams to come together, business development uses a lot. Uh, we have a virtual reality setup where clients can come walk through their projects ahead of them, even breaking ground. A really visual way to be able to see your project come to life. And collaboration is the key to any successful project. Uh, our CEO often talks about how the best projects that he witnesses are those with the teams that perform well best together uh, they're not necessarily the biggest, they're not necessarily the highest in value. It's really those that have a team that works efficiently, gets ahead of deadlines, and really can react and adapt to any problems that solve and have a positive relationship with the client. Um, so this, we have sophisticated technologies, lots of touchscreen walls. It's really a place to come together. Um, you know, unfortunately, we're not in there due to COVID at the moment, but all of these platforms are being pushed out uh, virtually as well. So really accessible on the job site. Do any of you guys use a lot of the technology on the job site? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna drag this one on, but uh, we, we do have, um, so one of the uh, softwares, I don't know, I don't see it on here, or but it's uh, the, the BIM modeling. So basically we have the model like what you see out in the field is like you, you visually see it um, on a computer screen. And so it, it can, it basically, um, it, it shows clashes and everything else, but it's an awesome software, um, really, really cool. And, and then two, I, I know you guys can't see it, but like speaking of technology, like I'm sitting in front of two monitors that are like, I don't know, Andy, you might know, but they're like 90 inches big they're, they're huge and we utilize this all the time for meetings and everything else and can show plans up here but they're massive monitors that i'm looking at doing this meeting right now yeah we really try to outfish outfit the job sites with a lot of technology um, we a lot of what happens in the collab is we try things out and then they get rolled out when when it's a winner you know when it when it's something that really works um, that then finds its way to the job site um, in at FGCU in the um, engineering homes hall, there's the Viper lab on the fourth floor. Have you guys been in that lab? They have, there's the big, um, the cave, you know, the Viper, it has the two corner wall with the projectors. So we have, we have that technology in the, um, in the different co-labs. Um, and we've actually shared a few of our models with FGCU. So you guys have, I think, I forget which ones exactly, but we've shared some of that. And with the, in the Vive, the little 3D headset, we have um, our Encore hotel room. We have that. So it's, that one's probably the most extensive um, visual design, but actually we've had, we've had owners use that. So we've mocked it up into the, into the Vive, into the 3D environment. And they, they were arguing over whether a unit had waterfront view or not because they wanted to charge more and so in the vive they were able to actually prove that they could see the water from that particular window and therefore it was waterfront <laughs> so um kind of an interesting you know conversation that came from that but something that they couldn't see you know looking at a, at a two-dimensional plan printed out on a piece of paper so that's kind of what we're trying to do we we do this this building information modeling this bim and um we can see it in four dimensions, five dimensions. So you can put cost in there. You can put, you know, time. So you can, they can see their building coming out of the ground before we build it. And we can catch, like Blake said, we can catch uh, clashes and issues that are in the model before we actually order that part, right? Essentially the idea is the more you can do in the virtual space, the cheaper it becomes because you don't make mistakes when you're going to do it for real. So a huge, huge push on technology. And that's, that's where you guys come in. You know, you, we have a lot of people who have worked in the construction field for 40 years, right? And they have amazing amount of knowledge about how to build the building, but you're bringing something new, right? You're bringing something you, 
you grew up with computers, you grew up, you understand that side that they generally don't. So there's a huge knowledge transfer in both directions, right? You can learn a ton from them and they can learn a ton from you. I think Blake seen that and Jack's seen that. And Ray has seen that for sure. Yeah, for sure. Before I move on to the Career Start program, does anyone have any questions on our technology? Excellent. So the Career Start program is our two-year rotational program. Um, so something unique is that we look beyond um, just civil engineering and construction management degrees. We really look to bring outside knowledge, outside backgrounds to offer a really well-rounded cohort. So we are currently hiring for next year's cohort, July 2021 start. Um, really exciting. Uh, we're looking to bring on over 50 individuals into the program nationally. Um, so each of our offices, we have an opportunity. Um, our four offices in Florida, Miami, Tampa, Estero, and West Palm Beach, um, all looking to grow really quickly, which is so exciting. Um, so recent college graduates, we look for people with prior internships. And the three rotations, like spoken before, over the two-year program are project management, field operations, and estimating. And something that Ray spoke to was really cultivating relationships during your two years, you know, meeting people beyond your specific project team, um, in the functions, in the different regions. The great thing about the program being a national program is that you do get that experience to interact with individuals in different regions. Uh, the way we build in Los Angeles is, you know, maybe different slightly than the way we build in Boston in terms of the types of projects that we take on. Um, you can learn from process improvement and having that cohort to start with each year really allows you to interact with other individuals. And this is a leadership development program. So there's opportunities with our career start program director and our career start program manager to really grow yourself professionally and personally. And our director helps you think you know, beyond the program. Where do you see yourself five years outside of career start? How do we get you there? And what training do we need to put in place to get you there? Um, and our program manager is there with you throughout the two years, making sure that you are have a great relationship with your mentor, you are working well with your manager, she helps you through the rotations, um, really interacting with you on a day to day basis to make sure that you are focused on learning your job um, in your current rotation and then also getting you to the next rotation. Um, you know, a lot of people who go through the career start are still here at Suffolk, which is really exciting. You know, we have some people in leadership positions who started Career Start 10 to 15 years ago, um, a real testament to the amount of knowledge that you can gain and the career path available at Suffolk. Um, so really high engagement within the program. And then also, you know, placement in a permanent role afterwards. Uh, it's after the two years, we work with your interests, your performance in the business scene to place you in a role that you find yourself you'd be really successful in. And this can be something related to the three rotations, but we also have opportunities beyond project management field and estimating. If you have an interest in business development or marketing or finance, HR, those opportunities are also available. It's really all about cultivating relationships and learning what other individuals do during that two year period and those opportunities are available and ready for you. And then we also have our internship program. So over the summer, 10 to 12 weeks, we hire interns in each of our offices really to expose you to the construction management industry. So you'll be either in a field role or a project management role, or sometimes they're a little bit of a hybrid where you get exposure to both as well. So we look for current college students and really looking to the, build a pipeline into the career start role as well. Um, we have opportunities across the nation. We have an innovation challenge. We introduce you to a speaker series. So getting to know leadership across the business and learn the vision of the company and what each individual does. And then also viewing it as a cohort. So 
uh, being able to interact with the other interns, visit other job sites as part of the internship program as well. Um, really high engagement, you know, the interns get tasked with jobs that, like Blake was saying, you know, you're tasked with jobs pretty quickly. It goes down to interns, a um, lot of responsibility. A lot of them feel part of the company and that's our goal. It's a Suffolk family from interns to executives. So this is our pipeline and the opportunities in the internship program can, they are meant to grow into career start and beyond. So I want to leave some time for questions and I'm going to take this off screen sharing so I can see your faces, but feel free to ask about opportunities, about specific experiences, really anything goes on um, what we're able to answer. Thank you, um, Lindsay. Thank you for, and your team. Uh, that was great. I am like, I'm sending notes to the staff here in the career office saying, you have to watch this video tomorrow. So <laughs> thank you so much. That was just a wealth of information. Students, go ahead and you can um, type in questions in the chat or if you want to just go on and uh, just say hello, you can. Lindsay, do you want to unshare your screen? Or? Yes, I am just figuring out how to do uh, that, just, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to figure out where it is. Is it maybe the screen share button? Yeah, got it. Okay. Looks like you have a question from Chris. Do you guys use any sort of 3D printing technology for designing within the management field? So I know, I know that we actually have a pretty large 3D printer in Boston um, that they had bought and explored it. I don't think the technology is quite there yet, um, but it's definitely something that, that we're looking at um, because that's, that makes a whole, whole lot of sense, right? If you, can, if you don't have to ship it, but you can actually build it on site, um, you're, you're saving a lot, of, a lot of time, a lot of money um, in costs that you'll never recoup. So I know it's something that, that we are looking at, um, but just they have the one, I guess they built, I did see a while back where they actually built a whole building with a 3D printer. They used, I think it just used concrete essentially to print it out. But um, I think there's a lot of possibility there um, and it's something there they were looking at. We have how much of a difference does having a PE license help a student when transitioning into the company? Um, I, you know, answering that, um, you know, if you were to come into the career start program, I think everyone has an equal opportunity, but I do think what you would end up walking into is you'd probably be more advanced, right? Like you would just have, you would kind of come in here and have a better understanding of, the construction industry and the engineering and like um you'd be a little bit more well-rounded i guess you could say that like me first coming in knowing nothing you would step in and you would have a you you kind of fit the role probably a little bit more right away if that makes sense and i think you can go vertical too a little bit more so you may you may become you know a senior engineer or senior project manager, you know, because you have that higher understanding. Like if you're a, if you were an architect, right? Some people come in as architects and they, they fit into that role more naturally, I guess. Yeah. And they bring, yeah, Whoever certainly I, I'm sure it would impact the, you know, your pay as well. Um, we certainly try to uh, give you benefits for, for doing that schooling. It's very important. And then what are your recommendations regarding the necessity of getting a master's degree or PhD? So I think Isaac, Isaac has a master's in construction management, right? Yeah, he's out here on this job site and he's, yep. he's very knowledgeable. Very, yeah, he, he's, he's, uh, you can tell like the, um, he's just, he's very well-rounded 
Um, again, you know, coming out with any kind of background like that, just like Andy said, like you'll just advance. I mean, I would never shy away from, you know, furthering your education on any of that. I mean, should I be doing it right now? You know, just graduating the career start program, you know, still fairly new out of college. I mean, I, I should probably be looking into it. Um, I, I wouldn't shy away from it for a second. I think a lot of opportunities can come from it, of course. Yeah, and it's not a necessary for the uh, career start program, though. Um, the right. idea is that we bring you into the program and we can teach you the technical skills. What we really look for are those leadership skills, uh, the business acumen, being able to present well, that executive presence. Um, and then when you get here at Suffolk, we'll be able to teach you the skills that um, those, you know, maybe with a master's degree or PE already know, but you may have some uh, soft skills that you're able to provide and give input in as well. Um, so everyone comes with their strengths. And then we have, I see you guys are big on the commercial side. Any opportunities in residential, specific, specifically single family developments? So Jack, you got that one. Uh, so I've been an estimating for almost three years now i haven't seen a, a single family development project come in um, we we tend our bread and butter is the commercial side uh, multifamily, gaming hotels condos so if is there ever an opportunity that we get into single family developments i'm not quite sure yeah it probably wouldn't be a single house yeah but more more multifamily residential like big towers um University Village, we built that there right next to the college. So that kind of thing, um, for sure. It doesn't really fall into a single family, but um, you know, that, that blend of commercial, right, with businesses and then living, you know, UV is pretty cool if you're- Multifamily. Yeah, right, right. Right. Good questions. Do we have any more questions out there, folks? Here we go. Large companies seem to departmentalize employers. Is this the case for the company? If so, does it ever get boring slash repetitive to do the same task every day? And is there an opportunity to work on other tasks outside of the department you are originally assigned to? Um, I can tell you one thing, uh, boredom is not a thing. Um, <laughs> Uh, you're, you're constantly critically thinking, um, moving. Um, I mean, I guess you could say the only thing that I, I could sit there and say would be, you know, the way a building is built is the same. Like every building is built close to the same, but your interactions and experiences and challenges are all going to be different. You're never running into the same exact problem on any job that you're ever on. Um, and then even going from department to department, um, you know, some people might like superintending over estimating or, you know, superintending over project managing, you know, everyone, like for me personally, estimating wasn't my favorite, but I'm so happy that I did it because I learned so much from it. Um, but I personally could never be an estimator, right? That's why I didn't choose estimating, which is another great thing of the career start program is because you get to choose what it is you want to do and Suffolk is you know they're literally looking at you saying so what do you want to do now so you've been through all rotations now what do you want to do they don't say okay well hey like Blake we need some help over here they say what do you want to do say I wanted to be a project manager all right we've got a position for you open um so yeah boredom I, I definitely would be one of the last words I could even use for um, for us out here. Um, it, it's just a lot of fun. And, you know, like I said, you're critically thinking and, and everything else. So I hope that helps answer. If anyone else has anything to add on to it, feel free. I was gonna, I was gonna say, I've, I've seen also where you can be, um, moved to a different, uh, regional office. So they've offered where you can go if you're, 
you lived here all your life in Florida and you want to get someplace else, they can transfer you to Boston. There's opportunities, you know, to go to San Francisco. So they've, I've even seen that happen. Um, we also help each other. So I think Blake, didn't you go to Dallas for a while? No, that, that was Chase, but yeah. That was Chase, that, that's that right, was, yeah. Yep, but, you know. Yeah, so, you know, we'll, if, if you're interested in that kind of thing, there's some opportunities there. Um, I'm on the functional side of the business with being in IT. Um, and even that I've seen, you know, people go from HR to IT, from IT to HR, IT to f the accounting department. You know, there, there's some, yeah, so I don't think boredom is ever going to be an issue. And, you know, if you're, if you really want to do something else, the company encourages you to bring it up, right? They, they want you to, they want you to be in the best place because it's, it, it's what makes you the best person, right? And the best employee at, at the end of the day, it's the business gets more out of you if you're in a, in a position that you like. So they want to try to facilitate that. You know, nobody, if, if you're miserable in your job, you're, you're not going to be a good performer. So they don't want you to be there. Very good. Do we have any more questions out there? Good questions, though. Yeah, yeah. really good. Yeah. I know the questions always bring up new, uh, new things to discuss. <laughs> I have a quick question. Um, my name is Kaylee, by the way, and I live in UV actually right now. So good job. But, um, <laughs> thank, thank, thank you. I did that. <laughs> but, uh, so I'm an environmental engineering major, and I was wondering if, so like the internships and career start seem like they're kind of centered towards like project management and construction management and estimating. Um, for engineering, is there specific avenues for that or would you still go through all three of the, like those topics, I guess is what I'm asking. Um, Lindsay, you wanna take it? Yeah. Yeah. So we do recommend that everyone go through all three rotations. Um, we do have opportunities to customize. It's not, you know, it's definitely on a case to case by ba case by case basis. Um, but really within the, those three rotations, you get a solid foundation in what it's like to build a career in construction management. Um, we do have individuals who are able to do a rotation in business development or a rotation, um, you know, with the strategy team. Um, those are really a case by case basis and the ability to perform well in your first rotation and then have that opportunity available. Um, but we really look to um, your interests as well and take them into account when we're not only um, thinking about the specific rotations, but who your manager is, who your mentor is. We try and align everything so that you feel supported and your interests and your career goals are all part of the program as well. And it's not just a like cookie cutter path of project management, field operations and estimating. There's little nuances to each person's um, path throughout the career start program that enable them to be successful after. Okay, thank you. Did that answer your question? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we have a couple more minutes if anyone else wants to ask a question before we um, say good night. Did you have any final thoughts from Suffolk, uh, any of you guys? Um, I have a question. Okay. Um, I think I understood properly. Do you have to do the career start to be in the intern program? No. Um, okay. So we have two opportunities available and one is the careers and one is the construction management internship. So, you know, individuals who are not graduating in 2021 are available for the construction management industry uh, internship. Um, so that's just during the summer um, to get that experience and introduction to Suffolk. And then those who are graduating our full time opportunity is career start. Okay, so then as a current college student, you would recommend the internship and then after would be the career start program? Yes. Okay. All right. Awesome. Thank you. No, Lindsay, great clarification. Lindsay, when do students um, start registering or applying for the internship program for next summer? 
Yeah, so we will be posting that within the next couple of weeks. Our applications are open on our website for both Career Start and the internship. Um, we are just posting, getting it posted on all the schools as well. But I highly recommend checking out Suffolk.com. Uh, definitely look at our YouTube channel. There's some really cool videos of all of our projects um, or some of our projects, not all of them, but um, as well as different interviews with leadership, um, different interviews with career starts as well. Um, I think it's a great way to really see the company culture, um, you know, as much as possible in this virtual environment um, and get that excitement about Suffolk. I think that's something that they convey really well. And it's something that, you know, if you ever hear our CEO, John Fish speak, he really gets you excited about the vision, working for the company, how you can be part of it and how you can make an impact really quickly. Great, anybody else? So I posted the Simplicity, which is Eagle Career Link, where they're, they, I'm sure Lindsay will have the internship posted. Do you post the, um, the career job on the, the position, what is it called? <laughs> Sorry, my brain. Career start. <laughs> career start. Do you post that as an application for? Uh, would, you, would you put that on Eagle Career Link as well? Yep, I will be putting that on shortly. Okay, great. right after this. All right, perfect. Okay, so those will be on there on Eagle Career Link, and then you can always go to the career website to get. You can see this video again. It'll be posted later, probably tomorrow, on the YouTube channel if you missed any of this wonderful information that you got or share it with a friend. Um, or if you need help with a career advisor to prepare yourself to do your resume and cover letter to send to Lindsay. So um, any closing remarks? Are we good? We are good. I will share all of our contact information and any next steps to all of you attendees. Thank you so much for coming to hear us speak. Okay, do you want to put that in here now or do you, oh. would you like me to, do you want to do emails? How do you want to do that? I will type in my email. And I can, if you email me, I'll uh, set up a conversation and reach out with next steps. Okay, perfect. I can leave that up for a minute so you folks can uh, grab it. Well, uh, thank you, Lindsay, Andy, Jack. Ray and Blake for being here tonight and all the students that came in. We appreciate you being here to learn more about Suffolk Construction. And I hope we fill your program up. Thank you <laughs> so much. Students. Yeah. Thanks everybody. Yeah, right. thanks everybody. Thank thanks you. for joining. Okay, thanks for being here. Have a good night. You awesome. too. Thank you. All right, take care. Bye.